So a while back, I was listening to the Game Informer podcast, and they had an email come in that asked a question that I thought was very good. The question was, if you could pair two game developers who hadn't worked together in the past up to make a game, who would it be? Now this question didn't specify if this needed to be individuals or large game studios or small game studios. It was pretty much your preference on who you would pair up. Like I said, I thought it was a great question, so I wanted to discuss it here on my YouTube channel. Um, I don't recall who wrote the email, but if I did, I would give them credit, but it was a great email, and if you're watching this, definitely awesome email. I knew immediately who I would pair up. First is Huditaka Suhiro, better known to most as Swery65. Swery is the founder of Access Games and is widely renowned as the creator of some quirky and interesting games. Despite working in Japan for his entire life, he's better known for creating games that were built for the Western market for the most part. His most well-known creation is likely 2010's Deadly Premonition, a cult survival horror hit. Some of his other work includes spy fiction for PS2, his first game as writer and director, and D4, Dark Dreams Don't Die for the Xbox One, which is his most recent game. My other pick is Goichi Suda, or Suda51. Suda is the founder of Grasshopper Manufacture. Also known as a rather quirky and interesting developer, he has made some of the most memorable games out there in my opinion. His first game to find a western audience, albeit small, was Killer7, a story of a wheelchair-bound assassin whose multiple personalities can manifest themselves physically to do the jobs they're assigned to. None of his games have become massive hits, but most who follow him, like myself, look forward to every release. His other games include No More Heroes, Shadows of the Damned, Lollipop Chainsaw, and his most recent, Killer is Dead. Just listen to the names of those games and you'll kind of know what kind of guy this is if you don't already. I cannot imagine the terrific game that will result from these two auteurs working together. But man, I really want to find out. While their styles are different, I think they are both geniuses of the industry and deserve even more credit for their fantastic contributions to gaming. Now if only they could work together. I mean, Swery said he would like to work with Suda. Swery has been out of the game for a while, though, due to some health issues, and apparently is now a Buddhist monk. I'm sure he can still make a game or two as a Buddhist monk, however. We need this. Swery and Suda, the men who go by nicknames in their development careers, need to make a game together. So that's my picks. I guess I'm going to toss it out to you guys. So who would you pick? Make a video response. Respond down in the comments. Let me know who your game devs are. Who would you pick to make a game? Maybe even say what kind of game that would be. I didn't particularly say what kind of game that would be, but why not? I'd like a survival horror hit from Swery and Suda. I'd like an action adventure from Swery and Suda. I honestly don't care. If they make a game together, it can be any kind of game. Who would you pick? Let me know. And if in the future you want to be in one of these videos and you have a camera or a YouTube account, let me know. You can contact me here in the comments. Let me know there. You can contact me through direct message on YouTube. You can contact me through Facebook if you are a member or a friend of mine or a uh, like on my Neo Solid 22 page on there, which has two likes, so it's probably unlikely. Um, or you can contact me through Twitter at Neo Solid 22, and we can put you in the next video. I was thinking the next video would probably be remaking a classic, discussing which game you would remake if you had the chance to do that. I think it's also a cool topic. Ultimately, if you liked the video, Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Definitely hit the like if you enjoyed it. And leave a comment for sure. Even if you don't want to comment on the topic, you can comment on anything. I don't care. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.